Hey guys, Pilots and Ramos. This Sunday, the Miami Dolphins lost to the 49ers, 33 to 17. If you can't see over my shoulder, I know it's very faint. I haven't been putting too much on the Expo markers uh, for these past couple of game results. This one's very unfortunate, man. <sighs> Lots of things happened this game. Lots of things didn't go the Dolphins' way, and uh, you can. First time you can say that in a while. Uh, snaps the Dolphins' five-game winning streak, which is very unfortunate. You know, you want the Dolphins to win <laughs> every possible game. Uh, each and every week, I pick them in the game picks. And, you know, sometimes it works. Sometimes it work it doesn't. Fourth time, it doesn't work for me. But, yeah, Dolphins go to 8-4. and four. I know I didn't update it there. Sorry about that. But uh, so did San Francisco. They went up to 8-4. and four. Uh, They retained the lead in the NFC West. Let's get into some highlights real quick. First play, instantly. Tua finds Trent Sherfield on a nice little slant, and he takes it to the crib. Miami Dolphins up 7-0. Tua's hype. He loves it. Dolphin fans loving it. You know, signs of things to hopefully come. It's not the case. Uh, bad news for the 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo gets hurt on one of the sacks. Dolphins got on him. He gets carted off. Uh, their backup gets in. Purdy. He finds <laughs> uh, Christian McCaffrey, Brock Purdy. He was uh, doing pretty good for 49ers in relief. Later in the game, pretty much fourth quarter, if not last couple plays of third quarter, Tyreek gets wide open down the field. Tua finds him for a wide open touch on following Dolphins drive. Fumble, I think I believe Kinlaw recovers, takes it to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Just not a good look for the Miami Dolphins. You know, you know, you want to come into this game, especially Mike McDaniel. He wanted to go into this game and get a big win for the Dolphins against his former uh, mentor, whatever you want to say, Padawan versus whatever. <sighs> Just wasn't the case. This is, a, this is a very deflating loss for the Miami Dolphins. This is a, a team that, given their circumstances, you should have beaten, and you didn't. Is it the offense's fault? Slightly. Is it the defense's fault? I wouldn't necessarily put it there for them. Is it Tua's fault? <laughs> Not necessarily, man. I mean, it's a tough game. You're playing one of the top defenses in the NFL. Things are going to happen. Just not exactly what you expected to happen was going to go through that being said uh let's go over some of the team stats for this game so uh miami dolphins had 14 first downs san fran had 24 if that gives you any indication of how this game went passing first downs 11 for the dolphins 15 for uh san fran rushing first downs two which is one of the key points of what I made about how the Dolphins can win this game is run the ball. They they barely tried to run the ball at all, at all. We're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, San Fran, six uh, first down runs. Uh, first downs from penalties. Dolphins had th one. San Fran had three. Uh, third down efficiency, zero for seven. Just, just not good. Uh, San Fran, eight of 19. Fourth down efficiency, one of two for the Dolphins, one of two for San Fran. Total plays, 45 Miami, 79 San Fran. I mean, this, this is really giving you an indication of how this game went for the Dolphins. Total yards on offense, I mean, it was pretty close. 308 for the Dolphins, 351 for the 49ers. Total drives, 13 Dolphins, 12 San Fran. Yards per play, uh, 6.8 for the Dolphins. 4.4 for San Fran. Passing, 275 yards stop Miami, 230 for San Fran. Uh, rushing, 33 yards for Miami, 121 for San Fran. I mean, we could not contain the run. We did a good job at it. It's just San Fran just had so many opportunities. This is me really coming out to you guys as a fan and not so much as someone who reports in the games. And it's just very frustrating to see. Uh, red zones uh, appearances per attempts. Dolphins went 0 for 1. San Fran went 2 of 5. 
uh, penalties. Miami had eight penalties for 68 yards. San Fran had four for 45. Turnovers. The offense committed four turnovers. San Fran committed one. It was a very minimal turnover for them. Fumbles lost. The offense lost a fumble, which we went over in the in the highlight, but we'll talk about it more when we get into individual stats. Interceptions. Three. <laughs> San Fran threw an interception as well. Uh, defensive slash special teams touchdown. San Fran got a touchdown on, on the fumble recovery. There's a big, big thing right here. Time of possession. Miami had 19 minutes and 26 seconds of time of possession. So you can only guess. San Fran had 40 minutes, 34 seconds of time of possession. Not a good look. Not a good look whatsoever. Before we get into any individual stats, let's just talk about how this game went. You know, opening drive, as I went over in the highlight, boom, opening touchdown, just first play, just boom, take it to the crib. People weren't even in the seats yet, and 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 Trent Sherfield was scoring a touchdown. Nice and easy. Dolphins were able to get some pressure on, on Jimmy Garoppolo early on when he was in the game. And uh, unfortunately for him, it resulted in him getting hurt. And... Uh, you think, oh, Jimmy Garoppolo's out. You know, Dolphins really probably have a chance. Not really, because Brock Purdy gets in the game, plays really well. Like, really well. <sighs> Either way, just... I know Tua threw two interceptions. And I know you guys want to say, oh, out of Tua haters are going to say, Tua, you did so bad. How can you make these interceptions? First of all, one of them wasn't even his fault. All right. Guy slipped. Defender makes a credible play. Jumps over to the offensive guy. Gets the interception. I know it didn't show up in the highlight. But uh, Jeff Wilson stumbled when one targeted. And uh, Ward from the 49ers comes up with an interception. Huge interception for him. Then, uh, the second one. You may or may not want to put it on him. Uh, Tua just threw it a little bit behind Tyreek on an easy play. Just an easy play. Just got to hit him in the chest. Threw it a little bit behind him. And ball gets tipped. Intercepted is what it is. Uh, Scotty Thompson got in during an interception. But by then, 99% of Dolphin fans who weren't at the game turned it off. I didn't turn it off, but I wasn't paying attention at that point. Because it was just it was out of reach, you know. Uh, you're down pretty much double what your score is, what you've done through so far through the game. So, you know, it is what it is. I said going into the game, Dolphins are running into quite a buzzsaw in this San Fran defense. You know, ranked number one defense for a reason. They're only allowing, what is it? Uh, pretty much under uh, 15 points a game and pretty much hitting that mark. You know, the defense did what it did for San Fran. Offense just couldn't come through and... You know, that's been the story for a lot of you teams facing San Fran. And that's why, realistically, I said Dolphins, you know, not crazy of a chance of winning this game. But optimistically, always want to see the Dolphins win. I mean, you can't, if you can't tell. I mean, I'm just kidding head to toe in the Dolphins gear right now. Anyways, let's get into some uh, player stats. Tua went uh, 18 of 33. 295 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked three times for a loss of 20 yards, had a 19.3 QBR. It's not good at all. Uh, Brock Pur Purdy uh, led the 49ers with 25 of 37, uh, 210 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, sacked three times for a loss of 26 yards. Not a great QBR for him as well, 57.0, a lot better than the Tua's. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was two of four while he wa while he was in, 56 yards, um, sacked for a loss of 10 yards on the injury uh, sack. Raheem Mostert seven carries, 30 yards, averaging about 4.3, the longest of eight. Jeff Wilson one carry, three yards. I mean, eight rushes overall. I understand you're playing a lot from behind during this game, especially in the second half, but you need to establish the run game. I don't care how much they're stopping you guys. You need to give them the idea, hey, we're gonna run this ball every now and then. And the Dolphins failed to do that. Is it part of why they lost? Possibly. Is it why they lost? Not necessarily. 
Christian McCaffrey had 17 carries for 66 yards for the 49ers, longest of 30. Jordan Mason, 8 carries, 51 yards. Tebow Samuel, 4 carries, 5 yards. Everyone else either had no positive yardage or negative yardage in Kyle Juszczyk and uh, Brock Purdy. Receiving, Tyreek Hill eclipses 100 yards once again. 9 receptions, 146 yards. 1 touchdown, longest of 45, which was a touchdown reception. Off of 14 targets. Trent Sherfield, 1 reception, 75 yards. River Craycraft, two receptions, 29 yards. Durham Smythe, two receptions, 21. Alec and Gold, three receptions, 15 yards. Jalen Waddle, one reception, nine yards. What happened to Jalen Waddle? He got hurt early on and often. Came in in the second half, made that reception, and uh, barely made it off the field. <sighs> Unfortunate, you don't want to see one of your main guys go down. Uh, Mike Gusecki should have had that catch. Bobbled a little bit. I understand the replay shows a lot worse than what it was in live time, but in live time, it really felt like he caught that ball, especially on that fourth down. Jeff Wilson was targeted twice, no receptions for him. Christian McCaffrey was the leading receiver for the front liners, eight receptions, 80 yards, one touchdown, longest of 33. Uh, Debo Samuel, six receptions, 58 yards, 12 was his longest. Brandon Ayuk, five receptions, 46 yards. Uh, Jawan Jennings, two receptions, 30. Four, George Kittle, two receptions, 22 yards. Tyler Croft, one reception, 14. And Kyle Juszczyk, three receptions, 12 yards, and a touchdown. <sighs> unfortunate. Just very unfortunate. All right. Uh, Miami fumbles. Tua had a fumble. He lost it. Recovered by Dre Greenlaw. It ended up being a, uh, a touchdown. Uh, Jawan Jennings fumbled the ball. It went out of bounds. Off of the Christian Wilkins, uh, big hit from behind, and the uh, ball went out of bounds, so just stayed within the 49ers. Miami Dolphins leading tackler, speaking of Christian Wilkins, was him. Uh, Christian Wilkins, 12 total tackles, eight solo, one tackle for a loss. Jerome Baker, 12 total tackles, six solo, half a sack, one tackle for a loss, one QB hit. Zach Sealer, seven total, five solo, half a sack, two QB hits. Uh, Eric Rowe had a pass deflection. Andrew Van Ginkle had half a sack QB hit. Uh, Landon Roberts had a tackle for a loss. Xavier Howard had two pass deflections and an interception. We'll talk about that in a sec. Bradley Chubb had a sack, tackle for a loss, two QB hits. Uh, Keon Crossan had a pass deflection. Jalen Phillips had half a sack and three QB hits. Uh, Melvin Ingram had a sack, tackle for a loss, QB hit. Uh -huh. That's about it in terms of uh, major defensive stats for the Dolphins. Dre Greenlaw had eight total tackles, seven solo, one pass deflection, one touchdown off of the fumble recovery. Uh, Jimmy Ward had seven, uh, eight, uh, uh, five total tackles, four solo, one pass deflection. Nick Bosa had three total tackles, three solo, uh, three of them, <laughs> three of them were sacks. <laughs> Two tackles for a loss, four QB hits. Uh, Fred Warner had a, two pass deflections. Tremador Lignor had a pass deflection. Arik Armstead had a QB hit. And Drake Jackson had a pass deflection. Interceptions, Xavier Howard got one for no return. Fred Warner got one for a return of uh, two yards, uh, 20 yards. Uh, Dremador Lignor had a return of seven y eight yards on his interception, and Jimmy Ward had a return of zero yards on his interception. Kick returns. Raheem Moser had one kick return for 25 yards. Uh, Durham Smythe had a return for nine yards. That was kind of like a squib kick to him. Ray Ray McLeod III had uh, two returns for 50 yards, totaling for 25 average, longest of 31. Cedric Wilson had two returns for 21 yards. Uh, Raymond McLeod had two returns for 34 yards. Jason Sanders went one for one on next uh, field goals, two for two on extra points. Robbie Gold went four for four on next uh, field goals, three for three on extra points. Thomas Morris said had four punts, 206 yards, none of which were a touchback or in the 20 longest of 63. Mitch Wichinkowski had four punts, 178 yards, two of which were in the 20 longest of 56. All right, standings. Uh, Miami surrenders their AFC East lead uh, to Buffalo. Buffalo is now 9-3. Miami is 
eight and four. New York lost, so they are seven and five. New England six and six. Uh, San Fran is eight and four, holds on to their lead against Seattle because Seattle also won, who are seven and five. Arizona is four and eight. They're on their bye this week, and Los Angeles lost to the Seahawks. Now are three and nine, pretty much eliminated from the playoffs. All right, with all that being said, I'm pretty tired. It's been a long day. Uh, actually hosted some people here at the new place, and uh, it was a pretty fun time. Either way, tough loss for the Dolphins. But if there was a game for Miami to lose on this three-game road trip, this was the one. You want to drop an NFC game over an in-conference game. You don't want to lose to the Chargers, and you definitely don't want to lose to the Bills. So, if out of any of the three games you were to lose one, it's now against the 49ers. All right? But, that being said, it's a tough loss. You know, too many mistakes that San Fran capitalized on. It's not like you made mistakes, oh, well, you know, you can make up for them. You made mistakes, and they cost you a lot. Because, if I'm not mistaken, uh, San Fran was able to capitalize almost on each and every turnover uh let's see right here dolphins throw an interception field goal by sam fran interception field goal <sighs> fumble touchdown interception and the game blah 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 just just not look good not a good look for Miami dolphins you know there are things to uh to be happy about that was how our defense played because even then, playing a backup quarterback, he still did pretty good. So I, even I wouldn't put out that. What were the keys to victory? Establish a running game. Doesn't matter if it was successful or not. Run the ball. Didn't do that. Protect Tua? Not necessarily. He got sacked three times each time, each and every time by Nick Bosa. So not good there. I know uh, Toronto Armstead didn't play, so... Yeah, you want to point out that, but necessarily it's not that. Um, defensively, get to Jimmy Garoppolo. They did. They, they damn near broke his ankle. Uh, but even then, they couldn't get to Brock Purdy. And, uh, you know, a lot of times he was able to scramble and just find the open man. And they were able to get a field and, you know, make the Dolphins pay. Um, what's the other defensive thing? Just... Not letting necessarily one player beat you, and I don't think they, they allowed that. I think everyone was below about 70 yards offensively in, in, in the respective spots. But Christian McCaffrey definitely did go off a decent bit for the 49ers, so I wouldn't even put that. Chase Sanders did well. He didn't miss a kick. But then again, he wasn't called on a bunch. <sighs> Just not a good game for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, but good thing is, they stay in the west side of the U.S. and uh, stay especially in California and get a chance to bounce back prime time against the Los Angeles Chargers. Who, uh, did they play this week? They did. They had to play this week. Uh, they lost. <laughs> God damn. They lost to the Las Vegas Raiders 20-27. to 27. <sighs> All right. Now, let's talk about uh, standings. I know the Dolphins are no longer within the top of the AFC East, but in terms of playoff standings, let's give it a look. Miami is the sixth seed overall. So we have Buffalo number one, nine and three, Kansas City nine and three, Baltimore eight and four, Kansas uh, Tennessee Titans seven and five. Then we have the Cincinnati Bengals eight and four, Miami Dolphins eight and four, New York Jets seven and five. And right outside is the New England Patriots six and six. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers six and six as well. Las Vegas Raiders somehow squeaking it in there. It's at five and seven. Same thing for the Cleveland Browns and Pittsburgh Steelers. Everyone else I would consider pretty much eliminated for the AFC. Uh, but it's just it's a tough loss. To be very frank with you guys, is it Tua's fault? Yes and no. There are some things that. You know, I feel like Tua was just too anxious. You know, sometimes it's overthrowing, like the, the overthrow to Waddle that could have been easy first down. I know I didn't show it in the highlight, but that could have been an easy first down. He overthrew him. 
I know you want to say, but you know, Waddle didn't run the route right. And I and I agree. But still, just, just so much, just so much went wrong. But lots of things to correct heading into uh, this week 13, 14 matchup against the Los Angeles Chargers. Prime time, you know, Sunday night football. Whole world's watching. But it rises to the occasion. Who knows? I hope they do. I hope they uh, also put to bed a lot of the Justin Herbert versus Tua debacle conversation, whatever it may be. Uh, but at the end of the day, Dolphins have quite the road ahead of them to uh, make it to the playoffs. And that's pretty much all the conversation is right now. You know, you're set, you're eight and four. You know, you've won over half of your games. Now it's time to really show the rest of the NFL what you're about. So. Well, they have a lot of answering to do. Hopefully, Jalen Waddle's right. I'm glad that they didn't start to run Armstead because I did not want to risk him getting another uh, setback. Hopefully, he can be back for the Buffalo Bills game. I'm not too crazy about him starting this uh, Los Angeles Chargers game. I feel like they could get it done without him there. But then again, that pass rush is still intense. So, you know, a lot of things that need to be discussed for this Miami Dolphins team. Uh, if you made it to this point, let me know what you thought of the game. On top of that, just what do you think the Dolphins need to do moving forward to put themselves in position to, one, make the playoffs, two, just get better as a team. Offensively, it just wasn't it today. And uh, once again, a lot of fingers are going to be pointing at Tua. I'll, <laughs> I'll have like half a finger pointed at Tua. You know, things certainly were his fault, but at the same time, it, it just wasn't this offense's day. And one thing to uh, acknowledge in that is, uh, you know, Mike McDaniel was playing Kyle Shanahan. You think Kyle Shanahan doesn't know this offense better than Mike McDaniel does? A guy who taught him the offense, you know? <sighs> Tough loss. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys in the next one. And uh, peace.